Hey everybody, Yogi here. Uh, beautiful day in Wisconsin today. Temps about 70 degrees. Not too cloudy, not too sunny. Um, I am in, it's either Sussex or Lannan. I think I might still be in Lannan. But um, there is a pretty cool couple of houses actually that are abandoned. And but the problem is there's no trespassing. So, I'm not going past this, but I want to, you know, unfortunately I can't get a closer, I don't have a zoom on this, but I just wanted to show you that one of the houses is right there, real cool old abandoned house, and then over here, it's kind of buried between some, behind some bushes and stuff, and trees and shrubs, but the other house, I, I don't know if it's a main house or that's a main house or if there's two main houses here but there's two houses on this property that are abandoned kind of cool maybe i'd like to see what they look like winter come back and shoot these when all the trees are bare you know you could probably see a whole lot more but i just recently came across these so i thought i'd share them with you okay i did go back up the, the road a little bit and did notice i'm trying not to i don't want to get the last thing I want to get is poison ivy or stuff like that. But if you could see right through there, I think that was the main house. And I don't know if that other building was just a shack or maybe a garage, but it kind of looked like a house as well. So, but that's the, uh, what looks to be the main home on this property. We're here at Mill Pond Plaza in the village of Menominee Falls. And here they've got logos and little tributes. Here in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, everybody. Pretty familiar with this area. This area's done a major overhaul in the last decade or so. A lot of new apartments and condos and stuff springing up and just a upgrade of the downtown area in general. So we're just gonna take a walk around. They have a bunch of art murals too. So we're gonna try to look for some art murals and just see what else Menominee Falls has to offer. So here we have a nice little gazebo where you can just kind of chillax. Beautiful gazebo. Take another look at the pond and the falls. River walk. I don't know if you can read it, but it says here the village of Menominee Falls dedicates this memorial to those who served the United States of America in times of peace and war. And it was dedicated in August of 1977. This is the mill building. 1891 and it's being guarded in front by a lion yikes and here's the view we get across the street 
from where the water follows as the river winds on. Those are some pretty cool skulls there in the window, stained glass. Wonder how much those go for. Pretty neat. You know, it is a lovely day for a Guinness, but I don't drink. So I will be passing in the Guinness for today and tomorrow and the next day and the next month and the next year and so on and so forth. Welcome to Menominee Falls. Now, I've done a couple of uh, episodes, Waukesha and Plymouth where they all had, both cities had a lot of art, a lot of murals spread out around downtown area. Menominee Falls is no exception. They had them scattered about throughout downtown as well. I'm gonna see how many I can find, but uh, we just saw the first one. Welcome you to Menominee Falls. And then we have this one. And here we are facing east on Main Street, going down Menominee Falls. We're gonna go look and see if we can find some more art murals though. Okay, found the next mural. Quite the, a very cool mural, I might add. Um, it's called Sweet Dreams, Eat Your Vegetables. So we're gonna start on this end here. <laughs> We've got a, I think those are called gem pops and lifesavers. I know what those are. But you got lifesavers, bubble yum, M&Ms, gumballs. Behind that looks like Reese's peanut butter cups, Smarties, gummy bears, peppermint, uh, you know, those peppermint things. <laughs> Hershey's Kisses. It looks like there's Babe Ruth maybe in the back there. Starburst. Hershey's Kisses. Ooh, that one's empty, but there's a Babe Ruth right next to it. Babe Ruth. I love Baby Ruth. Those are good. Good candy. What is your favorite candy? Past or present? Comment below. Let me know what your favorite candy bar candy is was. Um, there used to be a couple that I used to like. That are no longer made. Um, Chocolate Light by Nestle. And then, um, oh, what's the other one? 7 Up Bar. It was a tray that had like seven different candies on it. And then there was also the Milkshake Bar. Those were really good. So, Milkshake Bars were really good. So, let me know down below what your favorite candy bar was. So, back to this. I don't know if those are like uh, Tart and Tinies, maybe right there. Not sure. And of course, we got the gem pops, followed by broccoli, broccoli and a cherry tomato. It says here, "Sweet dreams eat your vegetables." So this was done by Anat Roman, Ronin. Very nice job there, Anat. Hope I'm saying it correctly. Very cool. Kind of goes all the way around. Right there across the street is Harvey Moy's Chinese American Cuisine. Harvey Moy's has been a staple in Menominee Falls for decades. Inside the building he has um, lots of famous people, lots of local and national celebrities who have dined there. We have a little marketplace here and Wonder Sound Music. They have a music store. Music stores seem to be dying. Um, there was a really big superstore down in Milwaukee called Casio Music. Well, actually, it was in New Berlin. And that place was huge. And all of a sudden, during the pandemic, they closed up. They do online now only. That's it. So this is a 175 or Appleton Avenue that I'm currently walking down. And right over there, if you can tell or see, it intersects with Main Street. And there's that Menominee Falls artwork that I filmed before. We have a wall of names. It's a memorial. 
And we have some tables here. People can sit and chillax. A nice big chair. <laughs> nice big chair to sit in. It says Menominee Falls downtown where Maine and Appleton meet. That's a big chair. I'm not gonna sit in it though. I probably won't be able to get out. Here's another piece of artwork right over here. It says Hunter's Prayer by Taylor Berman. There's Taylor's work of art. Right here is something a little interesting. It's called Vivian's Way. Embrace life. And there's some artwork down here as well. Um, Monarch butterflies. It says Hope Floats by Vivian Johnson. Aletha by Liz Hoover. Power Lines by Madeline Moscati, enjoyed by Kathy, Kathleen Murphy Willer. Okay, so this was just done recently. Um, August of last year. Here we got somebody doing a handstand. This is Power Lines. Hmm. Pretty interesting. I like the fact that it's lit up too at night. It's really hard to get a nice shot of this though. I believe this one is Joy. Yep. These were all done last August. Again, this is uh, Vivian's Way, just north of Main and Appleton. It'll be on your east side of the street. My uh, youngest son calls me Poppy. So there you go. Poppy in time. Want for nothing and have it all. Okay, I don't understand the butterfly by the honeycomb, but a bee would have made more sense, but that's okay. Flowers, apples or pomegranates. Very neat. I don't know about the paint uh, dripping down the side of the, uh, the, the building though. Frog's kind of cool. We have found some of the artwork, but I believe there is more. So we will take a look and see if we can find any more. Found another one. This one does not have any signage. I do see Catherine Lotz, Lotz, 7 2014 Don't know what the title of this is, but it's very, very beautiful. Okay, so we're coming up on a uh, side of a barn that's got a little quirk on it. I don't know if you can notice that, but they got like Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Pinocchio, Dora, Sylvester, Barney, Bob the Builder. Pretty interesting. 